A local legend passed away last night. Dwayne Hagedon was 88 years old. He's leaving behind a legacy in the Pacific Northwest. He not only created the Coeur d'Alene Resort, but also helped develop Coeur d'Alene into what it is today. Esther Bauer joins us with his impact on the region and the hearts he's touched. Emily, people say he was a visionary and a leader with the heart of gold. That's how the people I spoke with today are remembering their former employer. He was someone who simply made their lives better. He was so kind and so gracious and really made a point to get to know the people that he worked with and also took a great interest in the community. An interest in his hometown, Dwayne Hagedon saw something many didn't and had a vision for what Coeur d'Alene could be. He's a local boy who saw it through rose-colored glasses in the best possible way. He loved being better and, the, and, and unique and just um, achieving the highest level in every piece of business he put forward. Putting forward quite a legacy of business pursuits with investments in hospitality, golf, restaurants, real estate, and media, owning the Coeur d'Alene Press. Both Aaron and Kiki worked for him early on in their careers and say it was his leadership qualities that stuck with them. You have to keep your eye on the goal and do what it takes to get your vision to fruition. Every time I interacted with Dwayne, he approached every single person as they were his equal. While his time on earth has come to an end, his legacy will continue to live on in the lives he touched. I know that his spirit will live on through what the resort continues to do. And regardless of what its future looks like, um, it will definitely live on in the hearts of those who he impacted through those magical memories. In a tweet this afternoon, Senator Mike Crapo said Dwayne Hagedon's love of Idaho was demonstrated through his many community ventures. His influence, vision, and friendship will be missed. Now, funeral arrangements will be released in the coming days. Reporting in studio, Esther Bauer, 4 News Now.